Hello student, welcome to my channel Learn Physics. Today I will be discussing fundamental quantities, fundamental unit, derived unit and dimensional formula of all physical quantities. Okay, now let's start. First of all, fundamental quantities. The physical quantities like mass, length, time, current, temperature, etc. are independent of each other. These physical quantities are called fundamental physical quantities, fundamental units. The unit of fundamental quantities like mass, length, time, current, temperature are called fundamental units. In SI system, the fundamental unit of mass is kg, fundamental unit of length is meter, Fundamental unit of time is second. Fundamental unit of current is ampere. Fundamental unit of temperature is Kelvin. And the, the fundamental unit of amount of substance is mole. And fundamental unit of luminous intensity is candela. Okay. Now derived unit. Derived unit are formed by one or more fundamental units. Like the unit of frequency is second inverse. The unit of momentum is kg meter per second, etc. are the derived unit. Okay. Now dimensional formula. Dimensional formula is the relation of a physical quantity with fundamental quantities like mass, length, time, etc. Okay. Dimensional formula is the relation of a physical quantity with fundamental quantities like mass m, length l, time t, current a, temperature k. Okay. Now we have to express the dimensional formula of different physical quantities. Okay, now let's start. Look at this. This is the physical quantity. This is the relationship with other physical quantities. And this is the dimensional formula. Okay, no problem. First of all, area. Area is the length into length. Area is the length into breadth. Now look at this. The dimension of length is L and dimension of breadth is also L. So, look at this. The dimension of area is L square. Okay. No problem. Now, now the volume. Volume, length, breadth, height. Length into breadth into height. So, look at this. This is the L into L into L. This is the L cube. Okay, no problem. Now, mass density. Mass density means mass by volume. The dimension of mass is m and dimension of volume is L cube. So, look at this. The dimensional formula of density is m L minus 3. Okay. Now, frequency. Frequency means 1 by time period. 1 by time period means 1 by t, that is t minus 1. Now, there are other physical quantity like angular frequency, angular velocity, velocity gradient, all have same dimension as that of frequency 
that is t minus 1. Okay, so look at this. Look at this. These four physical quantities angular frequency, angular velocity, velocity gradient, and frequency all have same dimension that is t minus 1. Okay. Now, velocity or speed. This is the displacement divided by time. The dimensional formula of displacement is t and time is t. So, look at this. This is the lt minus 1. Okay is the dimensional formula of velocity or speed. Now acceleration or a retardation or acceleration due to gravity all have same dimension that is velocity by time. Velocity has dimensional formula lt minus 1 and time is t. So look at this the dimension of acceleration or retardation or acceleration due to gravity is lt minus 2 okay now force force or thrust or up thrust all have same dimension which is mass into acceleration now dimension of mass is capital m and dimension of acceleration is lt minus 2 so look at this the dimension becomes m lt minus 2 Okay. Now, number eight, impulse. Impulse or linear momentum. Impulse or linear momentum. Both have same dimension, which is force into time. The dimension of force is m l t minus 2 into t. So, look at this. The dimension is here m l t minus 1 okay now work energy or torque or torque or kinetic energy or potential energy or heat energy or internal energy all energy have same dimension which has relation force into distance Force has dimensional formula ml t minus 2, no problem. And this is the look at this, this is the L. So here dimensional formula, this is the ML square t minus 2. Okay, understood. Now power. Power means work done by time. The dimension of work done, look at this, the dimension of work done. This is the m l t m l square t minus 2 whole divided by t. So, look at this. This is the m l square t minus 3 is the dimensional formula of power. Now, momentum. Look at this momentum or linear momentum or impulse all have same dimension as that of m l t minus 1. So, look at this. This is the m l t minus 1. Okay. Now, pressure, stress, energy density, elastic modulus, young modulus, bulk modulus, modulus of rigidity all have same dimension. So, pressure, stress, energy density, elastic modulus, young modulus, bulk modulus and modulus of rigidity all have same dimension and this is obtained. Look at this. This is the force. Force is the m l t minus 2. Okay. And area. Area means this is the l square. So, look at this. This is the m l minus 1 t minus 2 is the dimensional formula of stress, pressure, energy density, elastic modulus, young modulus, bulk modulus or modulus of rigidity. Strain. Change of dimension or original dimension. So, it is a dimensionless. Look at this L by L. So, look at this is the 1 or this is the M naught, N naught, P naught. Now, look at this. This is the strain. Now, look at this. This is the Reynolds number. Is a dimensionless constant. Look at this. This is the Poisson ratio. 
position ratio is also the dimension less position ratio is the dimension less and specific gravity specific gravity or relative density also dimension less okay now modulus of elasticity look at this modulus of elasticity has same dimension as that of pressure or stress or energy density or young modulus or bulk modulus and which is m l minus 1 t minus 2 okay now surface tension surface tension has dimension look at this dimension of force by dimension of length so look at this this is the m l t minus 2 by l so look at this this is the m t m t minus 2 look at this the surface tension has same dimension as that of surface energy okay next the spring constant okay spring constant and and force constant okay so look at this surface tension surface energy spring constant force constant all have same dimension as that of surface tension and this is mt minus 2 now surface energy also have same dimension as that of surface tension velocity gradient look at this velocity gradient is the look at the velocity gradient is the lt minus 1 by l so this is the t minus 1 you already know velocity gradient have same dimension as that of frequency as that of angular frequency as that of angular velocity okay now pressure gradient pressure gradient means pressure by distance what is the dimension of pressure m l minus 1 t minus 2 and distance is the l so look at this this is the m l minus 2 t minus 2 is the dimension of pressure gradient okay now pressure energy pressure energy also have same dimension as that of energy or pressure into volume look at this energy so this is the m l square t minus 2 okay now coefficient of viscosity force divided by area into velocity gradient now look at this force the dimension of force this is the m l t minus 2 area this is the l square and velocity gradient this is t minus 1 now look at this so this becomes this is the m l minus 1 t minus 1 this is very very important now 21 angle angular displacement arc by radius so it is the dimensionless so look at this angle or angular displacement has no dimension but they have units the unit is radial in the same way solid angle also has no dimension but its unit is steradian steradian is the unit of solid angle now now trigonometric ratio length by breadth so look at this it is the dimensionless this is the m naught n naught t naught okay angular velocity angular velocity have same dimension as that of frequency angular angular frequency or frequency so look at this this is the m naught n naught t minus 1 okay now look at this angular acceleration angular velocity by time the dimension of angular velocity is t minus 1 by time t so look at this this is the t minus 2 okay now 25 the radius of gyration is the distance okay so look at this this is the l now moment of inertia moment of inertia mass into radius of gyration square so look at this this is the m into l square okay now angular momentum now angular momentum has same dimension as that of Planck's constant so look at this its dimension is moment of inertia so look at this this is the ml square and angular velocity angular velocity has dimension at t minus 1 so look at this the Planck's constant or angular momentum have same dimension 
which is m l square t minus 1. Okay. Moment of force or torque or energy or work done or moment of couple all have same dimension. This is the m l square t minus 2. Okay. Torque, energy, torque, energy, work done all have same dimension as that of m l square t minus 2. Okay. Now, angular frequency. Angular frequency it, it, angular frequency have same dimension as that of frequency or angular velocity, which is t minus 1. Okay, wavelength, the distance, so it becomes length. Now, look at this Hubble constant. Okay, recession speed by distance. So, look at this. This is also t minus 1. So, Hubble constant have same dimension as that of frequency, as that of angular frequency or angular velocity. Okay, and velocity gradient. Now, intensity of wave, energy by time by area. So, look at this. This is the energy. This is the m l square t minus 2 by area l square by t. So, look at this, this is the m t minus 3, ok. Now, radius in pressure, radius in pressure has same dimension as that of pressure. So, look at this, this is the m l minus 1 t minus 2, ok. Energy density, energy density have same dimension as that of pressure or stress or young modulus or bulk modulus or modulus of rigidity. So, this is the m l minus 1 t minus 2, ok. Now, critical velocity, critical velocity has the same dimension as that of velocity. So, this is the l t minus 1. Now, escape velocity, escape velocity also has same dimension. This is the l t minus 1, ok. Or look at this heat energy, internal energy, work done have same dimension as that of work. So, look at this, this is the m l square t minus 2, ok. Kinetic energy, same dimension as that of energy. Potential energy, same dimension as that of energy. So, this is the m l square t minus 2. Now, rotational, kind, uh, rotational kinetic energy also have same dimension as that of m l square t minus 2, ok. Understood? Next. Efficiency work output by work input. So, it is the dimensionless m naught, n naught, t naught. Okay. Now, angular impulse that is angular momentum or Planck's constant all have same dimension. This is the m l square t minus 1. Angular momentum, angular impulse or Planck's constant. Okay. Understood? This is the t to the power minus 1. Now, gravitational constant, look at this force into distance square. So, look at this, this is the m l t minus 2, distance square is the l square and this is the m square. So, we finally get m minus 1 l cube t minus 2 is the dimension of gravitational constant, ok, understood. Planck's constant, same dimension as that of angular impulse. So, look at this, this is the m l square m l square t minus 1 or angular momentum. So, Planck's constant, angular impulse and angular momentum have same dimension which is m l square t minus 1, ok. Now, heat capacity or entropy or Boltzmann constant, ok, Boltzmann constant denoted as k v. So, look at this, all have dimension, all have relation heat energy by temperature. So, look at this heat energy means energy m l square t minus 2 and temperature is the k. So, look at this, this is the m l square t minus 2 k minus 1, ok, understood. Next, specific heat, specific heat capacity. Look at this, heat by mass into temperature. Heat means heat energy m l square t minus 2 by mass by temperature. So, look at this, this is the L square T minus 2 K minus 1, ok. This is the dimension of specific heat capacity. Now, latitude. 
heat energy by mass. Heat energy means this is the m l square t minus 2 by m. So look at this, this is the l square t minus 2 is the dimension of latent heat. Thermal expansion or coefficient of thermal expansivity, this is the 1 by k. So look at this, this is the k to the power minus 1. Because it is the fractional increase of length per unit rise of temperature. Fractional unit of uh, the fractional rise of temperature has no dimension. So it has only dimension k minus 1. Okay. Now thermal conductivity. Thermal conductivity means heat energy. That is energy. M L square T minus 2. Thickness is the L. Area is the L square temperature K time T. Now this and this cancel out. So we get this is the M L T minus 3. K minus 1 is the dimension of thermal conductivity. Now bulk modulus. Bulk modulus have same dimension as that of pressure energy density, stress, young modulus, bulk modulus, young modulus, modulus of rigidity. Okay. Now bulk modulus. Bulk modulus have same dimension as that of pressure which is m l minus 1 p minus 2. Okay. Now centripetal acceleration have same dimension as that of acceleration so this is the l2 minus so this is the lt minus 2 okay now stefan constant look at this look at this stefan constant energy so this is the m l square t minus 2 area whole divided by area l square time t and this is the k to the power 4 look at this this and this cancel out so this is the m t minus 3 k minus 4 okay now, wind is constant. Oil length into temperature. Oil length has dimension L, okay, and temperature has dimension K. So, L into K is the dimension of wind's constant. Bozeman constant, energy by temperature. Bozeman constant, entropy and heat cap and heat capacity have same dimension. This is the m L square T minus two K minus one, okay. Universal gas constant, pressure into volume by mole into temperature. Pressure, this is the m l minus 1, t minus 2, volume l cube, and this is the mole, okay, and temperature k. So, look at this, this is the m l square, t minus 2, mole minus 1, k minus 1 is the dimension. Charge current into time so look at this this is the a into t okay current density look at this current by area a l a by l square so l to the power minus 2 a now 59 voltage electric potential electromotive force work by charge look at this work is the this is the m l square t minus 2 charge this is the a into t so look at this, this is the m l square t minus 3 a minus 1 is the dimension of potential difference, electric potential, electromotive force, okay. Now resistance, resistance means potential difference by current. Now potential difference, this is the m l square t minus 3 a minus 1 by current a. So look at this, this is the m l square t minus 3 a minus 2 is the dimension of resistance. Now capacitance, look at this charge by potential difference. Look at this a t divided by, this is the m l square t minus 3 a minus 1. So look at this, this is the m minus 1 l minus 2 a square a square t square okay now look at this electrical resistivity now resistance into area by length m l square t minus 3 a minus 2 area this is the l square length look at this, this is the l so resistivity dimension m l cube t minus 3 a minus 2 
okay now electric field electric field is the electrical force by charge now force is the ml t minus 2 by at okay so look at this this is the ml t minus 3 a minus 1 now electric flux electric field into area look at this this is the electric field ml t minus 3 a minus 1 into area so this is the l square therefore flux is dimension ml cube t minus 3 a minus 1 okay now electric dipole moment look at this electric dipole moment has relation this is the charge into distance so look at this this is the a t into m okay electric field strength or electric intensity look at this electric intensity is the now electric intensity or electric field strength is same dimension as that of this is the m l t minus 2 force by charge this is the at so look at this this is the m l t minus 3 a minus 1 is the dimension of electric field intensity electric intensity electric field strength okay now magnetic field magnetic flux density magnetic induction look at this force by current into length Look at this force is dimension MLT minus 2, current is A length L. This this cancel out. So look at this, this is the MT minus 2, A minus 1. Okay. Now magnetic flux. Look at this magnetic field into area. Look at this magnetic field. This is the MT minus 2, A minus 1, area is the L square. Okay. So look at this, the dimension of magnetic flux this is the ml square t minus 2 a minus 1 okay now magnetic induction magnetic flux by current look at this magnetic flux is the ml square t minus 2 a minus 1 divided by current a so look at this this is the ml square t minus 2 a minus 2 is the dimension of inductance okay now magnetic dipole moment magnetic dipole moment is this equals to pole strength into length so l into l so this is the a l square okay now magnetic field strength magnetic intensity or magnetic moment density magnetic moment by volume now magnetic moment is the a l square volume is the l cube so look at this l minus 1 a is the dimension of magnetic field strength magnetic field strength magnetic intensity or magnetic moment per so ma and magnetic moment density now permittivity charge charge electric force into distance square look at this charge so look at this at square electric force look at this this is the m l t minus 2 distance l square so look at this this is the m minus 1 l minus 3 a square t to the power 4 is the dimension of permittivity now permeability now parallel force into distance by current into current into length. Look at this. What is the force? This is the M L T minus 2. Distance is the L. Now current is the current into current S square and length L. So look at this. This is the M L T minus 2. A minus 2 is the unit of permeability. Okay. Now refractive index, it is a dimensionless. So this is the M naught, N naught, P naught. I hope will understand this video please like share comment on this and don't forget to subscribe my channel to get the best result in cbse 10 plus 2 neat men and advanced okay